Welcome to the 123rd commencement of Clarkson University. Nancy Rada, class of 1981 and vice chair of the Board of Trustees, will now open our commencement ceremony. Welcome. The 123rd commencement ceremony and convocation of Clarkson University is herewith in session. The marshal will now come forward and vest the president of the university. Please rise for the invocation by Pastor Rick Sinclair. Then please remain standing to join the Golden Notes in singing the national anthem accompanied by the Potsdam Brass Quintet. Let's pray. Today is a day of celebration and thanksgiving. Lord, I thank you for the many accomplishments of these graduates during the course of their studies. And I thank you as well for the support they've received from faculty, staff, family, and friends. I thank you for the learning, the professional development, and the personal growth and enrichment they have experienced. The challenges each of them faced in the pursuit of the degrees awarded here today undoubtedly put a demand on them in areas of character, integrity, resourcefulness, and perseverance. I thank you for the many ways they were strengthened by the challenges they faced. And Lord, my prayer for each graduate today is this, that through this time of transition, they would enter a new season, a season of fresh success and continued growth, of personal blessings and professional achievement. I know that in the days to come, they will experience times of success and also times of adversity. And so my deepest prayer is that they would find you in both the good times and the times of distress. I pray that they would live out the days to come with a heightened awareness that each one of us was made by you and that we were made for relationship with you and that in both the successes and struggles of life, they would come to know that you are to us a very present help, the God who is near, and that the words of the psalmist of old would be their anthem. The Lord is my light and my salvation. He protects me from danger. Whom shall I fear? The one thing I want from God, the thing I seek most of all, is the privilege of living in his presence every day of my life, delighting in his incomparable perfections and glory. Amen. The clerks and notes will now sing.
Thank you. Please be seated. I'd now like to welcome President Tony Collins to the podium. Thank you. I'll return in a moment for more formal remarks, but uh, we have a special guest with us today uh, that has arrived, I have to say this, Senator, unbelievably early. <laughs> and uh, please join me in welcoming for his remarks to congratulate our graduates today, the senior New York Senator, Senator Charles Schumer. Well, President Collins, and just let me thank you for doing a great job. Uh, you are a fabulous president, and thank you, because you're helping create a better America with what you do. And so let me, it's my honor to address the members of the dais, President Collins, Chair Board Gene Spence, faculty, the friends and families, but most of all, you, the class of 2016 Clarkson, congratulations. Now first, I'd like to announce my class gift. You know, it's hard to pay for college. If you're poor, the federal government helps you out. That's a good thing. But what about the middle class? So a few years ago, I wrote a law, it's now on the books, that says you or your parents, whoever paid for college, can deduct a full $2,500 tax credit for every year of college or graduate school, provided your income is below $200,000 a year. So for those of you who make, come from families who make below $200,000, don't forget to take that credit now or in graduate school if you're going. Uh, last year, because it's relatively new, about 25% of the people entitled to the credit didn't take it. If you or mom or dad didn't uh, take it last year or the year before, you can fill out a form, only one page from the IRS, and get three years back. So it's up to $7,500 in case you forgot. Uh, not a bad gift. Now, what do we do? <laughs> yes. Now, what about those who come from families who earn more than $200,000 a year? God bless you. <laughs> I'd like to say a word to the moms and dads. I know just how you feel. And by the way, moms, happy Mother's Day tomorrow. Um, I was just arguing with my wife about where to go. Uh, Discussing is a better word. Um, but in any case, I know just how you feel, parents, because just a few short years ago, my wife and I sat where you did and watched our daughter, Jessica, come up on stage, get her diploma, and it was one of the greatest days of our lives. If you're like us, you may think back to some of the tougher times. We remembered when Jessica was five months old, had 106 and a half fever. We rushed her to the hospital, didn't think she'd make it. Praise God, she did. We remembered when we put her on the kindergarten bus for the first time. And as the bus pulled away, she ran to the back of the bus, waved goodbye out the window, tears pouring down her tiny little cheeks. But then at 2 o'clock, when Iris met her on, the way to, on her way home, on, when the bus came back, she bounded off the bus, happy as could be. She said, Mommy, I came back. <laughs> when we talked to her, we realized what was going on in her little mind. She thought it was, that was it. New parents, new brother and sister, new family, new house. Then we remember Jesse as a teenager, where she didn't say much to us. And when she did, we didn't understand a word she said. And then moms and dads, you see your daughters and sons get that diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. Congratulations to the moms and dads here today. And finally, one other one other word of thanks. As we speak here today, there are young men and women, many here from the North Country, who are overseas in our armed forces, in very dangerous places, risking their lives for our freedom. Let's have a round of applause for them. Now, to this great class, Clarkson 2016, you know you're graduating with a lot of advantages. One is your education. A Clarkson first, only about a third of all 
people your age, young people your age, will get any college degree at all, only a third. And even for those who do, very few have a degree as qu high quality as the one you've gotten here from Clarkson. So you're graduating with a leg up educationally, a second advantage I mentioned, your families that will be behind you through thick and thin. And your third advantage, a third advantage is this. You are the first generation to grow up amidst all of this new technology. 1988, a few years before you were born, most of you were born, was the first year the word internet was ever seen in print. There was no, no Facebook and no Google, no Instagram, no LOL or emojis or hashtags. In 1994, the year that some of you were born, the World Wide Web had only 13 websites on it. That's it, 13. Now it has 15 billion. That shows you how quickly technology is growing and moving our world. And you know, your parents, your teachers, me, the older generation, we try to adjust to this new technology, but it's hard for us. We're learning it as adults. But you, you were born into it. Technology is to your generation like water is to a fish. You've been swimming in it your entire lives. And so the fact that you have this great degree from Clarkson, the fact that you have families behind you, and the fact that you are the first generation to be completely and instinctively familiar with this technology means one thing. It means now is the time to figure out what your dream is. Reach high for it. Then reach deep, deep, deep down inside yourself. See what you're made of. See if you can achieve that dream. My advice to the class of 2016 is very simple. Go for it. Now, sometimes you'll make the wrong choice. But if my experience is any indication, you'll pick yourself up Dust yourself off and move forward. But if you make the right choice, with a lot of hard work, a little luck, and some prayer, your lives will be enriched forever. Now, I learned these lessons myself. When I was seated at graduation from college years back, I had just learned that I had won a scholarship to travel all around the world, all expenses paid for a whole year. For me, it was the opportunity of a lifetime. I had never been out of the country before. But at the same time, I met a girl, and I fell in love. I know what you're thinking. Ah. <laughs> so I had to decide, graduates, do I go around the world for a whole year on the all expense paid scholarship, or do I stay home with the girl, my first true love? What would you have done? President Collins, the class is divided. I stayed home with the girl. No, no, don't clap yet. The story unfolds. That summer, she went on a brief vacation. I went to the airport to meet her on her return. As soon as she got off the plane, I saw by the look on her face, something was the matter. She dumped me by Labor Day. <laughs> there I was, no scholarship. No trip around the world, no girl. <laughs> I said to myself, what a loser you are. You will never make anything of yourself. And in fact, I stayed in my house for several months and moped around feeling sorry for myself. But somehow, I picked myself up, dusted myself off, and moved forward. And a few years later, I found myself seated at graduation again, this time from law school. But on the way home from law school, I told mom and dad I was not going to join the fancy law firm like we had planned. I told them my dream, I love politics. My dream was to run for office, even though the chances of winning were remote. Well, my parents were shocked. My mother was particularly disappointed, you see. I came from a family that struggled to help get their son through college and law school. My father was an exterminator, never made much money and the law firm was paying $400 a week, which in those days was more money than my family had ever seen. But my dream was to run for office. And so that fall, against very long odds, I ran for the New York State Assembly, and I had three opponents. There was the party machine candidate, there was a neighborhood activist, and then there was my mother who was telling all her friends not to vote for me. 
So as she said, I'd get this dumb idea of being a politician out of my big, thick head. Well, graduates, a few years earlier, I sure didn't get that girl. But that November, I won the election. So, to this great class of 2016, you've got a lot of gifts, a great education, families that have your back, growing up first generation in this world of technology. It is my hope, it's my prayer, and indeed it's my confidence that you will, you will achieve your dreams and pass all the tests in life with flying colors. To the class of 2016, congratulations. Good luck. Godspeed. And don't forget, go for it. Thank you, Tony. Great to be here. Thanks for your great job. Thanks, everybody. Great to see you. I now ask that Lorreen Burton come forward to offer her remarks. Please join me in congratulating Lorene, the senior class president of the class of 2016. Today, today, today Lorene is graduating from the Global Supply Chain Management Program in the School of Business. In addition to serving as class president this year, Lorene has also served as her class vice president and as a uh, Clarkson University Student Association Senator for two years. She traveled to Italy with the School of Business and worked as a transfer admissions assistant. After successful internships at Fastenal and Midship Logistics, Lorene will begin the next phase of her career with a full-time position at GE. Welcome. Thank you, Trustee Rada. Clarkson Class of 2016, graduates, families, friends, faculty, and staff, good afternoon. My name is Lorreen Burton, and I represent the Class of 2016 in congratulating both the undergraduate as well as graduate students here today who are about to join the ever-growing body of Clarkson University alumni worldwide. I'd like to start by asking you all to join me in a moment of silence for a member of our class of 2016, Pedro Vega, who tragically passed away during our sophomore year. He was an electrical engineering major and holds a special place in many of our hearts. Thank you. Now, I would like to share some very fitting four-part advice world-renowned physicist Stephen Hawking once gave. First, remember to look up at the stars and not down at your feet. We all put our feet down on this campus for a reason. Maybe it was knowing we'd get great jobs. Or that the weather reaches a whopping negative 30 degrees in the winter. Perhaps it was a generous financial package, or the fact that there are more cows than people around here. But maybe it was just those positive vibes we got when we all walked onto this campus freshman year. No matter the reason, we all found ourselves here in the same place at the same time, embarking on what we were told was going to be the best four years of our lives. As we walk across the stage today, marking our transition from students to graduates, we can be assured that the preparation, resilience, and building of networks Clarkson has helped us master will allow us to set goals and continue on following our dreams. We have climbed a tough mountain the last four years, but the surprising news is we haven't peaked yet. Regardless of what is next for each of us, remember to always look up to the stars of possibility. Second, said Hawking, 
never give up work. Work gives you meaning and purpose, and life is empty without it. Our founders must have thought the same thing when they established our school motto, a workman that needeth not be ashamed. Let's face it, work is without a doubt a state of which we have become accustomed to. I mean, what would life have been like with an actual syllabus week? And what is that gruesome feeling of walking out of a test thinking it was in hieroglyphics? Although our lives might have been empty without these exams, assignments, and deadlines, the skills, work ethic, and sense of accomplishment we gained have readied us for a life of what I hope is marked by a fulfilling career and ultimately a greater purpose. Third, if you are lucky enough to find love, remember it is there and don't throw it away. As we celebrate this fabulous day with family and friends from home, we are reminded of the love and support that helped us get here. We also recognize, as bittersweet as it is, the teammates, roommates, Greek brothers and sisters, friends, faculty, and staff with whom we have grown so close to during our time in Potsdam. Like Hawking suggests, we must remember each and every one of them, the impact they had on our journey thus far, and to always stay in touch. And as we embark down our separate paths, Hawking leaves us with a final reminder. However difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. I believe what we hold is the promise of hope. After all, we are golden knights. Now is the time to become our best selves and thrive in whatever we choose to do, in our community, workplace, and even the world. Class of 2016, I wish you all the greatest success that life and the stars have to offer, one step or mountain at a time. We did it! <laughs> Thank you. Give Laureen a moment to get back. Thank you, Laureen. So good afternoon, graduates, parents, families, friends, trustees, faculty members, and honored guests. On behalf of the university, I extend a warm welcome to everyone. Today we have graduates representing 23 nations, as well as 20, 32 states of the union. You came together willing to share your diverse cultures and backgrounds and together you began to, to learn and create solutions to the complex world issues that surround us. My goal in the next few minutes is to share some of your stories, more or less anonymously, to shine a light on the value of recognizing that it takes differences to make better, more a better, more competitive world. It is a proven fact that teams comprising individuals from different backgrounds can find the best solutions to the complex problems that confront our world. Now, I'm heading down uncharted territory here, so I'm asking all of you out there to help me. Please rise and remain standing if you are identified in one of the following groups. I hope you're all listening. This is not a test of your intelligence. I know how intelligent you are. It's a question of what time you got to bed last night. So, are, you, are there any members of the Bridges to Prosperity team out there? If you are, stand. Uh, well, well, we'll get to applause in a minute. So, Bridges, keep standing. You, you won't be alone for long. So, Bridges to Prosperity. Two years ago, we had an honorary degree recipient, uh, Avery Bang, and she brought that, that, that concept to our campus, and this year, in a national contest, our team designed the bridge that has just been built in Nicaragua. It was selected from all the national entries. The Devil's, 
Nancy, you're an applauder. <laughs> you can applaud. The Devil's Thumb Ranch Sustainability Design Course. Anyone from that course here? Yep. So here are a group of people that in their, in their I think, uh, well, spring semester, their goal was to go to an alumnus's ranch out near about an hour from, from Denver, Colorado, and his goal is to make it the number one eco-sustainable resort, not just nationally, but in the world. And so we're building that dream together with him. Uh, it's 5,000 acres, starts at 8,000 feet in the Rockies, a wonderful place. I'm giving him a free ad. Was it a great time? If you placed in a New York business plan competition, any business plan competition, I <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. If you, this is down to a specific, I like this one. If you worked on SpaceX launch experiments or will now be working for SpaceX, Oh, there we go. <laughs> if you participated in a Shaw Conference, Symposium on Undergraduate Research Experience, if you participated in the Shaw Conference, please stand. Amongst those standing are Goldwater Scholars, the highest undergraduate research award in the nation. If you attended the Women's Entrepreneurship Day, aims to empower young entrepreneurs worldwide at the UN, you have to start waving when you stand. Did anyone do that? You have to wave. I know there's someone out there. Over there, waving. Thank you. Are you part of the Army ROTC battalion that placed in the Ranger Challenge, another national challenge? Yeah. <laughs> If you're on the Clean Snowmobile Challenge Speed Team that placed in a national competition, any of our clean snowmobilers? Yep, you can't miss you. <laughs> if, you started, uh, if you started a hair cut business and had the Clarkson president check on you in your first co-op after your freshman year at Mellon Bank in New York City, where are you, Manny? <laughs> Manny, Manny, Manny. He's out there somewhere. I hope you're there, Manny. If you won an award at the New York State Pollution Prevention Competition, please stand. Yep, there we go. If you're a member of the Clarkson crew team, any crew team members, please stand. We actually had a national championship men's pair team in that event. Yeah. If you are a member of the women's hockey team who were national champions two years ago, please stand. <laughs> Ladies, see the Olympic banners over there? Our money is on you to add to those. If you're a member of the Kemi car team, a speed team that placed in their national competition, Well, and up oh, there we go. Good. And now I'm actually just going to ask Nate Lowell to stand. Nate, where are you? Nate, Nate, yeah. Your mother asked me to name you in the crowd, so I did. If you are a member of the ultraviolet tones or the golden notes, <laughs> this one's Karen's, who bring song to our campus and who had members placed in a national competition, the ultraviolet tones and the golden notes. Cat, well, I have to mention something about Cassie, right? At the last event about a week ago on campus, unbeknownst to Cassie, her bride to be, her, her husband to be, <laughs> came at the ends and sang the last song, and in, in doing so, proposed to Cassie. A moving event.
if you won the presidential switch competition. There should be two of you out there. They became me for a day. Lucky them. Up, oh, Matt, Hakari, you out there? Oh, Hakari, I see you. Keep standing. If you're a member of the volleyball team that went to four NCAA Elite Eight playoffs, We're getting there. If you're a member of the men's cross country team that won the pep rally competition, this is actually for dancing. They can run. If you're a member of the women's Nordic ski team who are national champions. If you are a member of the first robotics team that participated in the nationals this year and two years ago, Please stand. First Robotics, if you've competed for First Robotics. Wow. Hmm. Tim Entwistle is standing here today. Tim, are you out there? Where's Tim? Up back there. I want to mention this in particular because Tim is here at Clarkson because a previous team member, Joshua Miller, a 2010 graduate, is his mentor and got him to Clarkson. Thank you, Joshua. If you're a member of the Dance Ensemble or Goldies who entertain us and who have beaten out the men's cross country team to win the pep rally competition. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and finally, if you are a member of the not for forgotten by me and Karen, if you're a member of the pep band who supports our men's and women's hockey teams and other teams so well, pep band members rise. <laughs> now clearly I, oh, please be seated. That, a round of applause for them all. Now clearly, I could go on for a long time, uh, and I'll come back to that in a second. I've, I had no idea how many people would stand, but I hope you heard the, 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 the achievements of these groups, and I could have gone on forever. But I do want to focus on two individuals, Felix Abongo, Felix? You gotta stand, Felix, wherever you are, and keep standing and Ashvina Arusu. Now keep standing, both of you. <laughs> now I want to focus on them. Well, I should say Felix is a global supply chain management major with a minor in project management. He has been hired by Target. Ashvina will be getting her degree this afternoon in engineering and management to start a career with Whiting Turner Contracting Company. So why would I ask Ash and Fee, huh, Felix, I'll call you formally Felix, to stand? Their families are here today. Now Felix this is from Beacon, New York. Felix, where's your family? Okay, it's a mother, an aunt, and a brother, right? Why don't you stand too? And Ash's family is from here, from LA. Ash, where are they? You gotta to stand too. Hello, <laughs> keep standing. It turns out that all of us met about four and a half years ago on their visits to Clarkson. Everybody remember? Felix's mum was worried about the distance from Beacon to Clarkson. <laughs> Ash's parents wanted to move her as far away as possible. <laughs> That's my notes say. <laughs> now, it is not that each has had remarkable careers at Clarkson and are the male and female athletes of the year. <laughs> Felix, Felix is a thousand point basketball player and Ash has gone to four NCAA Elite Eight tournaments.
It's not because of that. It is because of what each has brought to our campus. Their personalities and their work ethics. It is those specific qualities that so many of our students exhibit that make Clarkson graduates special. Please be seated. All of those who have stood today have important stories, but so do all of our graduates, as well as parents and faculty, but we, could not, but we would be here for hours if I continue calling on you. This university was founded as a memorial to a humanitarian businessman, Thomas S. Clarkson. When he died, a sad neighbor wrote in his diary, everybody's best friend is gone. The neighbor wrote that all people should, and I quote, endeavor to do as Mr. Clarkson has done not live entirely for ourselves, but to try to help others. I conclude with a challenge, a charge to each and every graduate as you depart today. You have earned a degree that will open doors for you. Use it also to open doors for others. You have gained powerful skills. Use your power wisely and with compassion for humankind. The humanitarian spirit of Thomas X. Clarkson places an invisible stamp on every Clarkson diploma. Let the humanitarian spirit that created Clarkson guide and energize your life beyond this campus and this day. And may you defy convention, for you truly are the hope of the future. My personal congratulations. And now we're really getting into it. We will confirm the special, we will continue with the special honors and awards. The first students. We wish to recognize today our graduates in the University Honors Program. Will members of the University Honors Program please stand and remain standing? Honors Program. The commencement program lists the names of members of the graduating class whose academic records justify singling them out for distinction or great distinction. Will the graduates who have received great distinction please rise for recognition and remain standing? Now will those who earned distinction please rise so we can recognize all of you. Congratulations. Thank you, please be seated. You're getting your exercise today, that's good. I would also like to, recognize, to acknowledge 17 graduates who were commissioned as officers in the United States Army and Air Force during the ROTC commissioning sir exercises yesterday. Clarkson's ROTC, ROTC service has consistently ranked among the nation's very best. We're extremely proud of the courage and sacrifice our graduates who have made these military commitments in service to our country. In addition to, to asking our new officers to rise and be recognized, could all veterans rise at the same time and join, to join our cadets and accept our appreciation for your service? All veterans and our newly commissioned officers, please rise. Thank you, please be seated. Two members of the class of 2016 are now to receive further recognition, the highest award from the university faculty for scholarship and the promise of outstanding professional achievement. Over 100 years ago, Elizabeth, Frederica and Lavina Clarkson founded this school as a memorial to their brother, Thomas S. Clarkson. The sisters created two awards to be given to the two most outstanding graduates in the school. One is named after Thomas's, Thomas Clarkson's brother, Lavinus. The other is named for one of his sisters, Frederica. Today, we proudly continue the tradition begun by these founders as we honor our two highest achieving and most promising graduates in the eyes of our faculty. The student selected to receive the Frederica Clarkson Award is Emily Gonthier. Emily, please come forward. At Clarkson, Emily established herself as an outstanding student, researcher, and leader. She led her peers as president of the Sustainable Remediation Forum and ECHO. 
conducted research through the research experience for undergraduate program at Clarkson and at UC Berkeley, participated in three professional honor societies, volunteered with Circle K, Myth, Myth Olympics and CU Connect, and was the recipient of the Keith Russ Civil and Environmental Engineering Award. We congratulate Emily as she prepares to pursue a PhD in environmental engineering at UC Berkeley. Today, she graduates with a major in environmental engineering and a GPA of 4.0. The student selected for the 2016 Levinas Clarkson Award is Lee Granger. Lee? Leah? Sorry, Leah. Leah has had an exemplary career at Clarkson, an honors program student. She participated in seven research projects. Leah also served as a leader of several campus clubs, such as the Association for Women in Mathematics and the Clarkson Swing Club. She was granted membership into two honor societies and earned three department awards, including the R. Shanker Subramanian Prize in Chemical Engineering and the R. Gerald Bradshaw Award for Mathematics. We give Leah our best wishes as she enters the PhD in chemical engineering program at North Carolina State University in the fall. Today she is graduating with a dual major in chemical engineering and mathematics and a 3.8 GPA. At Clarkson, our faculty shares a passion for both teaching and research excellence. Each year, we recognize our faculty with two awards. The first for excellence in teaching, the second for excellence in research. It gives me great pleasure to announce the 2016 Distinguished Teaching Award has been awarded to Dr. Mike Wasserman of the School of Business. Mike, would you please come forward? The John W. Graham, Jr. Faculty Research Award is given each year to an untenured faculty member whose work shows great promise, and the award is to be used solely for research purposes. This year's recipient of the John W. Graham Award is Dr. Selma Medijevic Thagard at the, of the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. Selma, please come forward. Clarkson also recognizes upon their retirement professors and academic administrators who have served the university with distinction for a noteworthy period. This year we have five such individuals to be honored. At this time will Dr. Dan Bradbird, Dr. Phil Hopke, Dr. Shank Subramanian, and Dr. Jim Svoboda please come forward. Dr. Dan Bradbird served the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences for 31 years. Thank you for your service. Dr. Phil Hopke served the Department of Chemistry, the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, and the Institute for a Sustainable, Sustainable Environment. He actually created the Institute. And for a total of 27 years, thank you for your service, Phil.
Dr. Shank Subramanian served the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering for 43 years and also is a Graham Research Recipient Award and Distinguished Teacher. It's a hard double to accomplish. Congratulations, Shank. And finally, uh, Dr. Jim Svoboda served the Department of Electrical Computer Engineering for 37 years. Thank you for your service. The fifth, by the way, is uh, Tim Segrew, former Dean of the School of Business, currently the President and CEO of the Beacon Institute for uh, Rivers and Estuaries, and uh, let's thank Tim in absentia. Let's congratulate Tim in absentia. <laughs> now I'd like to recognize our staff. You did not see many of them in the professional today, but they are throughout the building and on campus, ensuring the success of commencement just as they have helped ensure your student success from the first time they set foot on Clarkson, the Clarkson campus. Whether it is a grounds person, a student life professional, or a custodian, our staff forms important, often lasting bonds with our students. They too have helped our graduates to be where they are today. Please, our, please give our staff a round of applause. There's another form of service we wish to recognize today, and that is the work of those who helped inspire the nation's youth. The Clarkson University Award for Inspirational Educators was established to honor individuals who have had a lasting influence on the lives of some of today's graduates. Kelly Boswell, instructor of home and careers at West Genesee Middle School in Camillus, New York. Ms. Boswell was nominated by Tracy O'Hearn. Please stand. Somewhere. There. John Christensen, former chair of the Department of Business at Westchester Community College in Valhalla, New York. Mr. Christensen was nominated by Scott Biscone. Uh, he's Scott, I don't think Scott is with us. No. With John is with us. Renee McNair McFarlane, attendance counselor at Washington Metropolitan High School in Washington, D.C., and was nominated by Takina. Davis. Renee? And also Karen Yonko, instructor in biology at General McLean High School in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. Ms. Yonko was nominated by Colton Weaver. She's not here either today. Well, it's, it, so we've, we've congratulated them. I'll move on. <laughs> Thank you for being part of this day. It, it, it truly is as you experienced last, last night uh, at the, when, when the students nominated them and then the teachers spoke, uh, a, mo a moving moment. There is someone, I'll bet, in every one of your lives who has had an influence that probably got you here to this location. And now, as has been Clarkson's custom, I would like to turn to another group especially deserving of recognition. I refer to the families of the degree candidates assembled here, and especially Tomorrow is Mother's Day, on this Mother's Day weekend, to those women who have confronted, who have contributed and confronted <laughs> in so many ways to the success of these graduates. Would the mothers and grandmothers of our graduates please stand and remain standing to receive thanks from all of us. Mothers and grandmothers. And now would the fathers and other family members of our graduates also stand to receive applause from those who are graduating. All family members, please stand. <laughs> graduates, this is your chance to thank them. Thank you. Now, Mark Green, class of 1977, is the president of the Clarkson Alumni Association. Mark will now offer his remarks.
Thank you, President Collins, for inviting me to speak today to Clarkson's newest alumni, the class of 2016. I'm your new president of the Clarkson University uh, Alumni Association. I did graduate a few years ago, as, as the white hair might attest to, back in a time when commencement was held over in Walker Arena, which wasn't as pleasant as this environment. My wife graduated a year after me. My two children graduated from Clarkson a decade ago. My family has a rich tradition with Clarkson. I may be wearing red and white because my highest degree was from a different university, but I bleed green and gold. And I want to welcome the latest Clarkson graduate to our family, Shane O'Brien, who is sitting out there somewhere today. We think, of Clark we think of Clarkson as a small, quaint institution. However, your alumni association has 40,000 members. We have 24 organized chapters in 16 states. We also have night sites and affinity groups. Night sites are like baby chapters. They have leadership and organize fewer events than chapters do. Affinity groups are organized, structured alums with a common theme like the pep band and phalanx. The staff in the alumni office supports the activities of all these groups. Our alumni association includes alums in all 50 states, five US territories, and 87 countries around the world. Our mission is to foster loyalty, meaningful engagement, and lifelong commitment to the university by its alumni. Our mission is also to network and provide services to alumni in achieving career success and public service involvement. And our mission is in support, to support and promote the university in its pursuit of excellence in teaching, research, and public service. Basically, the Alumni Association interfa interfaces with campus leadership to identify ideas where alums can help enrich your campus experience and where the campus can support alums who need help. Our most popular alumni events are attending hockey games. Who would have thought? We also see a lot of alums return to campus for reunion, and we connect with our local communities under Clarkson Serves, a series of projects that are done on Earth Day. We also connect virtually through the annual hockey telecast and alumni-led webcasts. Your Alumni Association has several prestigious awards that we present each year. Most of the awards are presented at reunion. The Golden Knight Award is recognition of older alums, and the Woodstock Award is recognition of young alums for career accomplishment, service to Clarkson, and service to, their, to your communities. We also present eight other alumni awards, awards to alums, students, and those who support the association mission. I want to acknowledge and thank two graduating student representatives that have helped us advise the Alumni Association in fostering student to alumni contact, like I hope you met a few alums during COGO this year. Thank you, Caitlin Berlach, and thank you, Michael Larkin. I urge you to stay in touch with your university and especially the alumni office. There were 110 alumni events last year. We are willing and very flexible in organizing events wherever there is a group of any size looking for Clarkson. You have to tell Clarkson where you are and the Alumni Association will work to connect you with other alums. Congratulations on your achievement. Welcome to the Alumni Association. Let's go Tech. Thank you, Mark. We now move to the principal business of the day. The first degrees that we award are the honorary degrees. Clark candidates for these degrees have accomplished deeds in their careers that are most noteworthy of imitation by today's graduates. As one of our, as our three honorary degrees are awarded and, and each recipient will share, well, each recipient, whew, each recipient will share with the graduates a thought for consideration in shaping your futures. Each of these recipients challenge our graduates to use their Clarkson education and experience
to see the world through the lives of others and impact something larger than themselves. Our first 2016 honorary degree recipient is Deborah Augustine Elam, escorted by Trustee Walt Robb. Dr. Sandra Fisher, Associate Professor of Consumer and Organizational Studies, will present Deborah. For her steadfast focus on individual talents and potential, for building teams that can do more than their members could accomplish separately, for elevating diversity and inclusion to a corporate value now shared by organizations worldwide, for her service to all who believe in and work for a better future, we proudly honor Deborah Augustine Elam. By the virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you, Deborah Augustine Elam, the degree of Doctor of Science, together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities and honors appertaining thereto. President Collins and the entire Clarkson family, especially the class of 2016, Thank you. I am deeply honored and humbled to be amongst you today to accept this incredible honor and congratulations to my fellow honorary doctoral candidate um, honorees. Being here makes me reflect upon my own undergraduate commencement ceremony. I remember the immense pride I felt knowing all that I had accomplished. And the excitement also had fears fears, but the opportunities and challenges that were ahead. Class of 2016, today marks a critical moment in each of your lives. It's the moment when you embark upon a new journey, an entirely new journey. This is the beginning of the chapter where you will learn so much about yourself and the world around you. It's a chapter where you will experience success, failure, and everything in between. And with each of these experiences will come growth. Growth that will hopefully spark you to drive to work harder, do better, and be the best version of you. Make your steps bold. Challenge the status quo. Take big calculated risks. And most importantly, always, always, always strive for excellence. My parents instilled in me from a very early age to work hard to be the absolute best at whatever I did, no matter what it was, and I pass that advice on to you. Whether it's being the president of a foundation like me, an engineer, a scientist, a manager, or an innovator, whatever it is you choose to do with your life, vow to be the absolute best at it. This commitment to excellence will inspire those around you creating a magnetism that will draw others toward you, those who share the same passion to achieve at the highest level. And while being in good company of other high achievers will certainly propel you forward, I also urge you, I urge you, I implore you to reach down and pull up as many as you can with you. You see, a lot of people say to me, it must be lonely at the top. Gee, it must feel really lonely at the top. But the person who contends it's lonely at the top has clearly missed the point about giving others help along the way and pulling them along with you. It's only lonely if you fail to do your part. And I know the class of 2016 will not let me down in that regard. As a graduate of Clarkson University, you are already headed toward the path to success. Your years spent here will undoubtedly prepare you for what lies ahead. And as I look out and I see the immense passion, I can feel the passion with my time on campus, your drive is so crystal clear. You are the leaders of tomorrow and the next generation of change makers. So as you embark upon this next journey, remember to reflect back on your time here. Remember the passion, the energy, the pride you feel right now, and never let that burn out. Hold that close, hold it very close to you, and carry it with you each day, everywhere you go. I will leave you with the words of one of my personal sheroes, 
Harriet Tubman. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and to change the world. You see, that's the real secret to success. Passion, drive, and a commitment to continue to dream. You have everything within you to do exactly what you set out to do, class of 2016. Thank you, Clarkson University, for this incredible honor and for allowing me to share this very special day with each of you. Congratulations, class of 2016. May your future be bright and prosperous. Thank you. Thank you. Our next 2016 honorary degree recipient is Carl Marlentes, escorted by trustee Caitlin Monty, Clarkson School of 06. Dr. Sarah Melville, Associate Professor of History, will present Carl Marlentes. Carl. For answering this country's call to duty, for his bravery and compassion in war, for his work developing sustainable energies and their infrastructure, for documenting the experiences that illuminate the realities of war, and for giving voice to veterans and helping them on their paths to recovery. For his service to this nation and to humanity, we proudly honor Carl Marlantis. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you Carl Marlantis, the degree of Doctor of Science, together with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honors appertaining thereto. They're in. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Good afternoon. <clears throat> War is terrible, and yet I am not a pacifist. I am, however, hopeful that someday we will see an end to war. I doubt that we'll see it defined as I do, violence between armed groups in our lifetimes. But we're on a good track, and I'm optimistic. More Americans were killed in a single day at Normandy than have been killed in 15 years of war in Afghanistan. And we Earthlings killed over 40 million people in World War II. That's a rate of about 18,000 a day. And all sides bombed civilians deliberately and with savage violence. And that's during living memory. Some people here today lived during that time. During the 10 years that we fought in Vietnam, civilian and military dead on all sides were roughly one and a half million. That's an average of 400 a day. And if you go to current wars, estimates of military and civilian deaths in both Afghanistan and Iraq since 9-11, they vary widely, but they're roughly around half a million. That's 90 per day. And care is taken to avoid civilian casualties, often at the expense of our own troops. 18,000 a day. 400 a day, 90 a day. This is an engineering school. That's a very good trend. And although I believe we can eventually bring an end to war, we will never, in my opinion, bring an end to aggression and its darker aspect, violence. 
We are an aggressive species. We are one of the few species that routinely kills its own kind. We are undisputably at the top of the food chain, and we're not there because we're nice. This is who we are. We're born aggressive. It's just like being born sexual, and trying to suppress aggression is like trying to suppress sexuality. It won't work, and it leads to some really weird behavior. Aggression is a healthy instinct. It helps mothers protect their children. It helps fathers protect their families. And sexuality and aggression are rideable horses. But you need to recognize the horse, and you need to spend a lifetime learning how to ride those two horses. As I said, I'm not a pacifist. I'm a proud Marine, and Marines are not pacifists. Pacifism only works if everyone is a pacifist. If just one person is willing to use murder and violence and no one else, then we give that person power over our lives and values that a pacifist can only counteract by willingly going to his or her death. Many have. But outside of issues around terminal illness, I am totally against suicide, particularly my own. I'm quite willing to give others power over me through a vote, through a constitution, through the rule of law. I will, however, risk my life to kill someone who is taking that away from me in any other way. Not even Mahatma Gandhi was a total pacifist. When the very nascent state of Pakistan invaded Kashmir, which was part of India, in the first months of the Indian-Pakistani independence from Great Britain, Gandhi told Nehru to send in the Indian army on the grounds of stopping an invasion of sovereign territory and to secure justice. Gandhi's philosophy of Satyagraha which, by the way, means holding firmly to the truth, not nonviolence, was a system he wished to use to change people's hearts. And that's what we need to be thinking about, is changing people's hearts. And it wasn't nonviolence that changed the policies of the British government. What changed British government policy was the outcry from British voters in a free democracy over what was happening to Gandhi and his followers. Had Great Britain been a totalitarian state, Satyagraha would have been a dismal failure. So, as you leave Clarkson, go in peace, which actually does have a chance. But if someone wants to make that impossible by threatening you, your deeply held values, or lives and values of the people you love, you need to fight back. I think even Gandhi would approve. I thank you for this honor and for being here today with you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. Oops. Our final 2016 honorary degree recipient is Opal Tomati, escorted by Trustee Carl Mack, Dr. Luciana Achazu, Associate Professor of Economic and Financial Studies, will present Opal. But thank you. Yes. For her devotion to this nation's shared egalitarian ideals, for encouraging communication as a means to overcome challenges, for building coalitions that value the contributions of workers, immigrants, and families, for her tireless work as an organizer of opportunities for all, we proudly honor Opal Titilayo Tometi. 
By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you, Opal Tomati, the degree of Doctor of Science, together with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honors appertaining thereto. Thank you, President Collins, the Board of Trustees, and the entire Clarkson University community for this recognition. I'm truly honored. And congratulations to the graduating class of 2016. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, but it is in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give others permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. That is quoted from Marianne Williamson. And these words have been etched into the back of my consciousness and in my heart for many, many years. And in fact, this understanding, I realize, was fundamental to my own upbringing. You see, what many people don't know about me is that I'm the daughter of Nigerian immigrants. And I came of age in Phoenix, Arizona. And in my community, the Nigerian immigrant community, we had people like my father who's here today, and you'll notice him because he's handsomely dressed in his agbara, it's our traditional wear, and he's dressed with no apologies. And it was with this type, right? Yes, there he is, handsomely dressed. <laughs> you see, it's with this type of embrace of who we already are our uniqueness, our unapologetic nature of owning all of who we are, that was what marked my community as beautiful and taught me that our lives do in fact matter, regardless of how the larger society might treat us. And in fact, we must shine our light by being all of who we are so that others can lose their fear and join us and we can finally build a multiracial democracy that works for all of us. It is with this sense of assuredness and conviction that I went to start Black Lives Matter with Patrice Cullors and Alicia Garza, knowing that we have a duty to be a light and speak up and even shut things down for the people we love, and that if we were to hide our light and allow for some people to be more valuable than others, we would be doing a disservice to ourselves and everybody else in the world. See, you graduates, as people who've had the opportunity to not only aspire towards their goals, but now have come into a very significant milestone of your own life, I can imagine how gratified you feel and that's wonderful, and you should. You should sit with that. You should revel in your accomplishment. But this is only the beginning. You have to keep going. And at this point in your journey, you know that you've only begun. When you have privilege, like what you have with your degree, you have a responsibility. And when you have a bit of accomplishment under your belt, it's also your duty to do something with it. 
to be the solution with your new distinction, with your resources, with your gifts, to leverage your privilege so that all can have access to similar opportunities if they wish, because that is just. In times like these, it is important to be all of you who you are, no matter your race, your religion, your ability, your immigration status, your gender or sexuality, because the world actually needs you. And as I close, I am reminded of my younger self at the University of Arizona studying history, where I wondered where I would be during the civil rights moment and during that movement. And now I know, because we are in a similar moment in history. I would have been raising my voice and shining my light. And I invite all of you to do the same. Congratulations, class of 2016. What a gift it is to be alive in this time. I encourage you to shine on. Thank you. Congratulations to our honorary degree recipients who are here today to accept their degree. This year, we also awarded three honorary degrees in absentia. The recipients who could not join us today are Patrice Carlos, Alicia Garza, and Peretti Patiro. Now, we'll move forward, we'll, we'll move we will now proceed to awarding our other degrees, beginning with the Doctor of Philosophy. Provost Charles Thorpe will present the doctoral candidates. Are you ready for the main event? <laughs> <laughs> will the Doctor of Philosophy candidates please rise? Mr. President, I am proud to present the duly voted and certified candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. The candidates will be hooded by their advisors. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honors which appertain thereto. The marshals will escort the doctoral candidates as a group to the front of the floor podium. We ask that you please hold your applause until all the candidates have received their diplomas. You heard the president mention we have candidates from 23 different countries. That is a great joy at Clarkson until I have to figure out how to pronounce their names. <laughs> I do have some phonetic hints from some of the candidates, so thank you, Jane, for spelling out your name. <laughs> Ritu Kumar Bonsley. Olivia Z. Durham. Kilam Dinesharanthi Hiwa Gajamanagi. Ishara Roshan Jayasuriya Hungama Mudalige.
David Illig. Varoni Nadisha Kakulawala Jayawardana Arach. Kate Allison Knapp. Nicholas Letourneau. Sapan J. Patel. Katie Potts. Emmanuel Kwesi Amonu Kwanza. Luke Keith Rumba. Malavarayanan. Sanka Subramanian Arash Shamansuri Zingzhao Shi Arvind Sriram Kinga M. Strzauska Now would be an appropriate time to applaud. We will now confer, confer the Doctor of Physical Therapy degree. Provost Thorpe, would you please present the candidates? Will the candidates for the Doctor of Physical Therapy please rise? Mr. President, I am proud to present these duly voted and certified candidates for the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy. The candidates will be hooded by their advisors. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Physical Therapy with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honors which appertain thereto. The marshals will escort the candidates as a group to the front of the floor podium. Again, we ask that you please hold your applause until all of the candidates have received their diplomas. Shrishti S. Bajaj.
Alexander M. Barilla. Andrew R. Boyer Drew. Janelle Adara Carney. Catherine Ryan Dahl. Emily DeVito. Carly Eastman. Shea Marie Evans. Tara Marie Guyen. Lauren Catherine Gillette. Molly Marie Gordon. Amanda Courtney Jerowitz. Kelsey M. Nishaw. Crystal M. Lawton. Katrina Lobier. Molly Rose Lynch. Kyleen O. Magera. Megan Lynn Pollock. Terry Michelle Proshek. Sarah Arlene Smith. <laughs> Jessica A. Sussman. Claire Marie Sweeney. Sarah P. 
T. Thayer. Michael Joseph Zellias. Mr. President, that concludes the DPT students. We will now confer the, ma confer the master's degrees. Provost Thorpe, would you please present your candidates? Will the master's candidates from the interdisciplinary programs in computer science, engineering management, engineering science, and information technology please rise and remain standing? Mr. President, I am pleased to present these duly voted and certified candidates for the degree of Master of Science and Master of Engineering. Professor Powers, would you please present your candidates? Will the candidates from the Institute for a Sustainable Environment please stand and remain standing? <laughs> Mr. President, I am proud to present the duly voted and certified candidates for the degrees of Master of Science in the Institute of Sustainable Environment. Uh, Professor Frascator, will you please present your candidates? <laughs> will the master's candidates from the School of Business please rise and remain standing? Mr. President, I am proud to present the duly voted and certified candidates for the degrees of Master of Business Administration or Master of Science in the School of Business. Dean Jemison, would you please present your candidates? Will the master's candidates from the Wallace H. Coulter School of Engineering please rise and remain standing? Mr. President, I'm proud to present the duly voted and certified candidates for the degrees of Master of Engineering and Master of Science in the School of Engineering. Dean Turner, would you please present your candidates? Will the candidates for Master of Science in the School of Arts and Sciences please stand and remain standing? Mr. President, I am pleased to present the duly voted and certified candidates for the degree of Master of Science in the School of Arts and Sciences. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Business Administration, Master of Engineering, or Master of Science, with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honors which appertain thereto. The marshals will escort the master's candidates as a group to the front of the floor podium. Please hold your applause until all the candidates have received their diplomas. Simran Amlani. Elizabeth Chadwick Bastian. Sishir Kumar Bataju. Stephanie M. Brannan. Amelia Bieland Brown. Ellen Campbell Cassidy. Abraham Charles DeMarco. Kristen Ann Dubot. Margaret Teresa Ecker. Joanna Charlene Escanio. Thomas Duane Escalon. Amanda Lee Furness. Alexis Joan Galani. Nicholas A. Gali. G. Gao. Gursharan Kaur Gill. Brittany Lynn Grote. 
Sarah Timberland Harris, Mark James Hedgeland, Alexis Eileen Henyon, Jesse Lauren Thomas Hauk, Jensen K. Jacob, Delani Ishanka Jathalaki, George C. Keller, Matthew T. Kinecki, Olga V. Kirk, Cameron John LePan, Joshua Lavelle, C1 Lee, Huibin Lin, Miao Liu, Shane Lyle, Clark Cody Maine, Daniel E. Malik, Abhishek Venkata. Maniconda, Jared James Marshall, Jessica Aaron Martin, Sarah Bradford McCullum, Anne Marie McShay, Jason Menard. Amanda Pearl Muller, Samantha M. Muller, Heather Marie Muntz, Kirsty Jillian Lisa Nicole, Ryan Thomas Niles. Kristen Ellen Powers, Kanatha Gamaje Don Sulaitha Priyankara, Royu Chen, Srilatha Rabala, Carrie N. Ryder, Stephen Rock. Carl C. Schubert, Ashley Margaret Scully, Sinduja Sitaraman, Bethany Agricola Sly, Rosena Shubadi, Amila Nishanta Sudu. Ambegadara, Siu Sun, Gokul Ram Thangamami, Catherine Elizabeth Van de Valk, Brian G. Walzak. Lindsay A. Walsh, Kanji Wong, Samantha J. Weller, Jessica Ann Weeman, David Williams, Minping Wu. Yimin Zhang, Yuan Yuan Zhang, Yuling Zhang, and did I forget anyone? If not, Mr. President, that concludes the master's degrees. Ladies and gentlemen, applaud.
We will now confer the bachelor's degrees. Dr. Alan Rosner, Associate Professor in the Institute for a Sustainable Environment and winner of the 2015 Distinguished Teaching Award will present the candidates. Dean of Admissions Brian Grant and Trish Dobbs, Director of Admissions, will read the candidates' names. Dr. Rosner, please present your candidates. Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Professional Studies please rise? Mr. President, I am pleased to present on behalf of the faculty the candidates for degrees of Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Professional Studies. The faculty certified that they have completed the, all requirements for their degrees and our recommendations have been confirmed by a vote of the Board of Trustees. By, the virtue, by virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Professional Studies with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and honours which appertain thereto. Ready? Tassels to the left. Please be seated. The first candidates receiving their diploma will be the student marshals who are selected for this honor on University Awards Day. They will be escorted, then they will escort their classmates to the podium. We ask that you hold your applause until all have received their degree. Thank you. Colton Weaver. Samantha A. Clapper. Tracy Kaylin O'Hearn. Annie Helfgott. Paul Gordon Geiger. Alexandra J. Rowe. Tania Nicole Davis. Caitlin Riley Barrelet. Michael Richard Ferrari. Mitchell James Laughlin. Nicole K. O'Brien. Liliana May Orndorff. Jacqueline Ann Skybor. Mallory Fisher. Travis James Lemure. Hikari Mamata. Ian O. Williams. Kelly Ann Rowland. Abby Katrine Hines. Shamar M. Bora. Brendan James Elmore. Aaron Tong. Christopher Michael Nackery. Jessica M. Matat. Scotland Lynn Ann Ryder. 
Aquila Jane Chase. Angela M. Battaglia. Shannon Elizabeth McCauley. Olivia Lauren Howe. Renata Hannah Joyce Fast. Fatima I. Sandera. Sarah Lindsay DeShane. Jeffrey Danallo. Patrick Mackenzie McGannity. Simon Bissett. Kevin Bailey Tanzi. Christian Powers. Gregory J. Lewis. Bailey Be uh, Barrett LaCours. Ashley Marie Brisbane. Emma R. Cummings. Marissa Ann Berlin. Jacob P. Mish. Skyler M. Connaught. Kevin James Cross. Grace Ann Usher. Spencer R. Williams. Kimberly Irene Oaks. Shelby Julia Cassis. Melissa K. Bogart. Amber Marie Schwartz. Anthony Nicholas Barana, Jr. Dana Lee Rowe. Brendan J. Gaelic. Derek A. German. Lauren M. Hutchinson. Ashvina Araso. John W. Donan. Paul N. Lakatos. Brian T. Carey. Daniel F. Squilante. Kyle L. Newton. Cody J. H. Faulkner. Jacob Gerald Yost. Austin Mitchell Case. 
Keith Michael Merzwa. Curtis Benson Taylor III. Joshua P. Askey. Sean C. Riley. Adam N. Bailey. Bryant M. Farley. Brielle Alexa Farley. Alexandra Mika Moss. Jasmine Lizette Plaza. Stephanie M. Cowie. Aaron Jeanette Liberis. Alicia Alexandra Quick. Mackenzie Ray Pelton. Kayla Marie Fantone. Olivia Jane Chopsky. Ashley Rebecca Duhan. Nicole P. Carfee. Joanne Elizabeth Burridge. Courtney Constance Quinn. Stephanie E. Lynch. Hannah M. Gleason. Rachel Destiny Fisher. Zachary R. Breen. Dakota J. Tarbell. Morgan C. Zizek. Molly Angela Carson. Megan May Borland. Cassia Uri Chapman. Amanda Rose Sleds. Nancy Ann Smith. Mackenzie Marie Toth. Michelle Elizabeth Kelly. Jessica Renee Cunningham. Veronico Faro Bagundis. Lisa C. Diacutis. Antonino W.K. Tan Marcello. Mark A. Godin Jr. Tara Price. Jean P. Jin. Amy Shoshana Hudgens. Brian Robert. Tyler J. O'Connor. Brian A. Domina. Dylan J. Aird. Colleen M. Daly. Ashley L. Loggins. Darian A. Smith. Dylan A. Davis. Hannah Rachel Norton. Brian G. Root. Tiffany L. Chase. Caitlin Elizabeth Marie Leonard. Rebecca A. Callow. Kelsey R. St. Louis. 
Lindsay Marie Schlage. Dakota L. Folmsby. Tyler F. Wilkinson. Amanda E. Graham. Victoria Rose Williams. Sana M. Jaquith. Taylor Reed. Megan Catherine Cassava. Kelsey Ann Barker. Emily Rose Baker. Yeah. Daniel I. Bellinger. John B. Sherry. Kyle S. Messier. Joshua B. Heiser. Yaroslav Melnik. Chelsea Marie Farinacci. Eileen Marie Daly. Kylie Ray Ring. Madison R. Leindecker. Benjamin D. Stone. Carly Ann Lawrence. Logan A. Norris. Samuel Mark Allen Bunstone. Ciro Nicoletti Watson. Nicholas Joseph Luzinski. Brittany Lee Snyder. Jonas Z. Ebert. Kara Ann McTominay. Deanna L. Snyder. Travis Roger Eaton. Drew Joseph Walyor. Lucas R. Porter. Wei Li. Tyler J. Barnier. Peter F. Lamoth. Aaliyah S. Gibbons. Lauren M. Fischel. Mitchell Joseph Hart. Carlene P. Diaz. Morgan Mitchell Hinckley. Brianna Jean Anderson. Mary Frances Longman. Isabella C. Esposito. Colby Peter Homan. Marcy Ann Lorenzi. Makisha Shimoyama. William R. Eaton. Matthew J. Sherry. Kyle B. Bostick. Luna Rogers. Michael M. Taggart. Zachary Kincaid Lennox. Jeremy T. Hoffman. John Robert Campbell. 
Matthew Joseph Blair. Joseph R. Hoppy. Megan Rose Musilowski. Scott Ethan Graham Snyder. Stephanie Isabella Griffith. Emmeline J. Dupree. Emma L. Jeffrey. Laureen Patricia Burton. Alexander J. Lawyer. Benjamin Richard Ralston. Isabel Grace Bray. Randy T. Parisi. Kirsten Marie Sin. Catherine Ava Rose Tambaro. Angela L. Perone. Charles R. Gallagher IV. Kayleen A. Richards. Georgia Ray M. Moore. Tirza M. Smith. Janelle Catherine Menard. Catherine Claire Berrigan. Patrick J. Schmier. Ryan K. Carlson. Sean Stephen Glasheen. Colin Brooks Vaughn. Eric Thomas Steen. Sean David Shimong. Christopher C. Behrens. Robert F. Morris IV. Lee R. Hamilton. Ryan Arthur McCarran. Christina A. Kingston. Marie F. DiLorenzo. Colin M. Baines. Aaron Elizabeth Ambrose. Kaylee Lynn Mercer. Todd A. Christian. Jacob Eugene Boner. Nicholas Robert Garrido. Timothy John Barber. Alexander S. McLaren. Dominique Denise Bokoven. David A. Chapman II. Evan Andrew Jennings. Amanda L. Opitz. Danielle R. Faraby. Ryan J. Perry. Bernard J. Paprocki III. Michael A. Larkin. Eric D. Gleick. Dietrich B. Deal. Michael David Inachilli. Ty Avery M. Alberto. Zachary A. Stevens. Nicholas Vincent Manzella. 
Jacob R. Volker. Shane P. O'Brien. Benjamin John Edwald. Daniel R. Cortez. Jonathan Caruso. Dominic R. Dequila. Nicholas David Miller. Timothy E. Bowler. Jesse M. Janis. Gavin Joseph Gary. Cynthia Mariah Andre. Ara Makiba Bogmes. Emily L. Kanaski. Lauren N. Furkin. Bridget Lee Smith. Ahmad Y. Alborolosi. Anne Marie McAllister DeMassey. Zachary Robert Godin. Paul M. Anson. Robert Frederick Hoover. Jeremy A. Liss. Felix O. Obongo. Nicholas M. Colombo. Matthew Robert Robbins. Riley Benjamin Prom. Austin E. DeMott. Jameson C. Luske. Daniel J. Wixwat. Justin T. Pavea. Nathan Robert Wotkaitkus. Gregory James Steiner. James Dean Temple. Nicholas R. Price. Nicholas Miles Christopher Wenzel. Kobe N. Durgum. Tyler N. Rondau. Michaela R. Anson. Zanwin Lee. Valeria R. Zakova. Anthony J. Bruni. Matthew J. Gasparic. Dylan M. Wood. Nicholas K. Schultz. Colby R. Emma. Nicholas A. Ferris. Alex Leo Montgomery. Nicholas W. Schumacher. Dalton Patterson. Adam Joseph Yates. Aaron James O'Neill. Michael S. Neighbor. Nicholas Alexander Haluska. Daniel J. Slowick. Louis R. Arena. Carl L. Schmidt. James M. Tulin. Garrett C. Mikulik. 
<laughs> James W. Hammond. Devin W. Winchester. Amanda L. Iwani Judge. Christian Lee Quinton Avery. Katrin Whiteman. Austin Eric Florian. Nicole F. Hoskins. Elijah D. Cleveland. Rob A. Armstrong. Matthew Joseph Felice. Jacob Keith Coons. Michael J. Hartnett. Samuel J. Shields. Jeffrey Charles Baldwin. Daniel Michael Hennis. Mariella Antonio Gomez. Daniel J. Sanchez. Sarah A. Deblois. Michael P. McGrath. Jaron Fisher. Scott C.J. Hateman. Daniel A. Abreu. Samuel A. Zagrobelny. Samuel T. Zwerchowski. Peter J. Schutzo. David B. Levy. Nicholas S. Rolf. Robert Thomas Meyerhoff. Dean G. King. Pearson C. St. Pierre. Ryan P. Golden. Joseph Adam Crandall. Quinn M. Beatty. Zachary Ian Rowan. Shane A. Belrose Jr. Juan Diego Merchant. James P. Dapp. David John Musto. Joseph C. Kuhn. Richard Joseph Hominick. Alexander D. Cartier. Graham W. Bronson. Nathan Albert Inkowich. Cody J. Emerson. Brian Ed N. Botang. Tyler J. Parks. Thomas Allen Sager. William Elijah Banaski. Nicholas Alfred Mishazek. Timothy R. Morris. Catherine Mary Doyle. Alexandra Elaine Day. Jacob P. Capiello. Kevin V. Mack. Thomas Horatio DePew. James D. Guglielmo. Von Richard Thompson. Orion B. Hayes. William A. Freitag. 
Brian Ko Yen. Brian Joseph Garrett the second. Daniel M. Wall. Lauren M. Cum. David J. Larner. Jacob Hole. Cody L. Clemens. John C. Davies. Kevin Matthew Lefave. Matthew A. Letourneau. Joshua Caruso. Gavin L. S. Brower. Grace E. Nojak. Gavin P. Campbell. Nicholas Todd Wilcox. Jake T. Tayo. James P. Surrett. Zachary Ryan Willard. Shane A. Garbrandt. Jake G. Briganti. Eric James Blakely. Jason Richard Bichard. Garth M. Buck. Dakota William Price. Ryan G. Birchinoff. Michael J. Huff. Amy E. Jifyun. Brianna Lynn Foley. Jesse Harold Burns. Joshua K. Miller. Nikolai Gudritis. Nathaniel James Lowell. John F. Rockwood. Joshua L. Bazone. Mitchell A. Ikes. Jonathan M. Crest. Ashley S. Yovine. Taylor Rose Manderson. Kirsty L. Shuri. Victoria Page Kirkamo. Michael F. Goal. Joseph M. West. Melissa Martinez. Samantha Nicole Mallon Carpa. Rachel M. Frome. Alexandria A. Page. John Joseph Jandlos. Christopher M. Dion. Blake E. McClellan. Victoria M. Villanova. Michaela E. Mascaro. Scott Monroe Hemming. Ryan D. Haller. Jacob L. Bagley. Rory Matthew Wilnow. Caitlin Rose Caricos. 
Tyler M. Verkler. Harrison Robert K. Robert E. Shepard. Clayton L. Ivers. Andre D. Lockhart. Lucas W. Audicki. Tyler A. Gilbert. Ryan Allen Sharon. Taylor Owen Fleming. James Hendron. Liam M. Harrison. Lillian H. Chen. Sarah Victoria Orsino. Taylor M. Gilden. Aaron Marie Hughes. Amber L. Enright. Annie Laurie Belbian. David Gerard Lynn. Sean C. Spiewak. John H. Bell, Jr. Ashley L. Forche. Benjamin Bannigan King. Megan A. McKenna. Jenna Marie Bruno. Jessica Victoria Shaliga. Ryan T. Rahat. Maureen E. Hain. Aaron Rachel Ryan. Anna Philomena Corintello. Haley C. Grassi. Emily Ann Gonthier. Sarah Ann Mealy. Caitlin A. Tallman. Julia Marie Bennett Markowski. Catherine Elizabeth Anderson. Elizabeth Margaret Wass. Michael John Pleskotch. Benjamin Henry Crudson. Thomas M. O'Rourke. John Ryan Wake. Brandon W. Hurlbut. Peter Robert Faulkner. Lee Carol Granger. Shelby Michael Reed. Aaron P. Bauer. Joshua J. Adams. Jason Christopher Floyd. Carrie Lynn Turner. Matthew J. Andrezi. Sean Tyler Aho. Brent Michael Golas. Andrew J. Mitchell. Tyler S. Maines. Natalie M. Hoke. Brian Patrick Bollinger. Matthew James Mullen. Andrea R. Eastup. Anthony J. Formica.
Algashimo Jal. Jermel Dequaint Martel Jackson. Louis R. Tamarez. Leland Jomer Amito John. Munesh R. Singh. Talia R. Pounds. Roshni Humage. Amanda Irene Oni. Kyle Jude Michael Ventura. Monica M. George. Maria D. A. Tai. Christopher A. Laduca. Kyle Theodore Pollock. James Carlton Elmer. Tyler Austin Bearshad. John J. Bellardello. Karen C. G. Brown. Tong Fong Yan Ho. Samir Imbusen. Bucky J. Bordeaux, Jr. Tyler K. Barnes. Jonathan T. Scavon. Austin T. Smith. Cameron M. Weber. Michael William Lee. Sergio E. Gallucci. Clayton J. Pratt. Brian J. Hunt. Fernando Jose Cordobo. Michael D. Hayes. Charles H. Wagstaff, Jr. Elliot C. Martin. Derek Lee. Brian D. Agel, Jr. Christopher E. Griffith. Andrew J. Turner. Otto J. Frankowski. Megan E. Kennedy. Jason Tyler Purdy. Ian Dunkel. Zachary J. Jeske. Colton J. Braun. Patrick D. Flynn. Andrew T. Lichtenthal. Jeffrey A. Wilsey. Samuel A. Sprague. Jacob C. Dalman. Matthew D. Spencer. Mitchell P. Weimer. Eric Lee Mallory. William Jeremiah O'Brien II. Peter Allen Newman. Haim Singh Matharu. Robert S. Young Jr. Scott Eric Green Jr. Marcel Chouchet. Isaac R. Prescott. Ian Patrick Smith. Matthew R. Miller. Eli K. Greenwald. 
Alexander R. Pedroza. Colin M. Stutz. Skyler M. Graves. Christopher Michael Tarbell. Nicholas F. Donato. Jacob D. Minch. Muhammad Azudin Mode Posey. Robert J. Sherman. Alexander T. Shannon. Eric A. Gillespie. James Andrew Dervey. George A. Salg. Matthew H. Kim. Zachary Michael Roberge. Nathaniel H. Purdy. Logan A. Karsten. Timothy Warren Entwistle. Brian J. Kelly. Brian M. Edwards. Janet Herdina. Jeffrey Robinson. Brett A. Swan. Nicholas A. Gilbert. Dylan J. Kloster. Seth Michael Hebert. Andrew F. McNitt. Colin Lenwood Clough. Ian J. Shaw. Kevin T. Palmetto. Logan James King. James Gregg. Mitchell Arthur Phillips. Riley Russell McKnight. Dakota Shelby Pellegrino. Nikesha P. Hamilton. Hannah Van Eycott. Alexandra Nicole Wolf. Taylor S. Smith. Christine M. Wright. Danielle K. Felty. Sean Thomas Harrington. Veronica E. Raymond. Keith F. Payne. Evan R. Billsbeck. Robert J. LeClaire. Alan Croswell Ireland Perry. Betsal Pudasene. Timothy G. Levine. Eric M. Servetus. William M. Yancey. Anthony R. Reppenhagen III. Seth A. Trevally. Nicholas James Short. John R. Kane. Christopher J. Grismala. Keith D. Martin. 
Samuel Clayton Morrow. Nathan R. Nolting. David William Ferris. Brian Michael Haas. Michael Christian Feeney. Sharice L. Stevens. Brianna M. Farney. So, so build your enthusiasm for just one more moment here. It's yours, Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Don't leave that. Don't leave that. Congratulations, class of 2016. This is your moment now. You can, for one moment, you can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Congratulations. get those hats in a minute. So please now rise for the alma mater. The words are on the back of your program but you know them by heart. <laughs> the alma mater will be sung by our campus a cappella group, the Golden Notes, accompanied by the Potsdam Brass Quintet.
Graduates, on behalf of the Clarkson University Board of Trustees, I congratulate you all as the class of 2016. I now hereby declare the 123rd commencement ceremonies and university convocation closed. To all graduates, good luck and Godspeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now prepare to recess. We invite you to join us at the graduates' reception. What? Can you just wait for a minute? We have to recess off the stage. Sorry.